Hey there, good morning. Well, I have to confess, I did a lot of work off camera here for the sake of time, just trying to, of course, rush as always. So you see behind me, Project Trailer, put to work once again. <laughs> I have a funny story about it. Maybe I'll talk about it here in a minute. But anyway, something a little different in there. We got some trees, a little different than pecan trees. We got these olive trees. Picked up a hundred olive trees from a gentleman just south of me in Florida. I was working on getting them planted last night. Kind of got back a little later than I wanted to, but it's okay. I stayed up for the sake of uh, trying to adjust my time. The donkeys are in the background. <laughs> uh, hi, donkey. I went and planted them. Uh, planted 14 of them last night in the moonlight. And then I, I laid the rest, almost the rest out, at least of what I have here. This should be right about 60 right here and of course now i'm fighting i'm fighting the clock uh, like i figured i would be i'm always fighting the clock these are uh albacina olives i just think they're awesome i i, I like olives uh well, olives olive oil and of course olive trees i think they're an amazing tree and there's a whole lot to talk about them and i'll do more talking about them later on another video um, i think these are about two years old roughly so i just put them in the ground it took me of course everything is on time for me so it took me about a minute per tree to get them in the ground and uh, this is what i got so my spacing on them is 18 by 18. yeah that pole's gonna come out eventually so that's why i'm so close to it whatever but anyway 18 by 18 spacing i have 60 right here and then i did a lot of clearing going out that way all this was all brush this was all that kind of brush but i cleared it up then i came through and i did a lot of uh cleaning of course i didn't get everything it's imp near impossible to get everything especially when you're hastily going through it uh, i went and uh slightly disked it i chain harrowed it and then i uh took the box blade and kind of went over it it was uh, very uneven. It's not perfect now, but it's a lot better. And here, I'm going that way. And now is the brush. It was all brush like that. You see a little brush pile there. It's actually a big hole. It's very deep. And all the brush that I took off here is over there in that hole. It made it level higher than level now. So there's a lot of brush on here. I hate removing all the organic material, but there is no way I could get it semi-leveled with the organic material. I'm gonna go put some more organic material on it. I gotta get going on this because I need to hit the road here in a couple hours. I gotta work tonight. I'm gonna basically plant them. I'm thinking this will take me just over another hour to finish these. I'll let y'all watch me do that. But I figured another hour on those, I'm gonna see about, you know, I do have to lay it out because I'm keeping the same pattern. So I'm gonna do a couple measurements and then see how far I can get with um, drilling some more holes and stuff. I can drill 10 holes at just over a minute a hole once they're laid out. I think planting, laying them out, and drilling them about five minutes per hole for the whole process, including planting the tree, five minutes per hole, not too bad. I just gotta get to it. And uh, hopefully I can take those hands of time and put a stop on them for a little bit and I can get more work done. Anyway, let me show you this. I'm gonna put the uh, information in, in the video here and put it down in the description below. But this guy was really awesome. He's actually Italian. He was super duper duper generous and he gave me some olive oil that he made from same kind of trees. This is just so awesome. He has a website, he has Facebook, he has all that kind of stuff. He has a legit setup, just totally awesome. You know, if y'all, he even gave me some pasta from Sicily. This is like so amazing, it's so cool, awesome. I mean, super generous guy. We talked for a few hours, giving me just a wealth of information about these trees. And you could tell he like absolutely loves these trees. His orchard is beautiful, beautiful. I'm really thankful for him and his help getting me started here with this. I'm definitely gonna be going to him to get these olives processed yeah, whenever they start producing. I guess there might be a few this year, but there's gonna, it'll be next year before they start producing really anything uh, significant and then a few years before they get full full production that's all i can say for now let me uh let me get this tripod set up and uh let me show you how i plant these things all right so i ditched the uh, sweatshirt uh because it's nice and warm so these are the albacina you can kind of see how tall they are not bad he was actually kind enough to prune them for me him and his dad so awesome so these actually have little tiny 
little tiny um, flowers about to come out on them, which is so exciting as well. I'm just hoping they live this year. I'm not really looking for any olives. And of course, we got the turkeys here. I use my tractor and auger to drill the holes. Put them about three foot deep. Then I fill them in a little bit. So the holes loosened up some. So I take it, get it loose, pull them out. Try not to get bit by the uh, turkey. And then fill the hole in some. And then get a bunch of sand in my gloves. All right, so I take it. They're, they're a little bit root bound, but not bad. But they definitely want a new home. Push it down a little bit and then fill it in. I think these are a bit easier than the pecan trees being bare root. I just want it at the level where it was in the pot. I don't need it much higher than that. And this soil is actually pretty moist right now for being sandy. I'll take you on another one. All right, here's the next one. Give it some hugs because you love your tree. This one's a little bit more root bound. But again, not too bad. So breaking up the soil or the dirt, like drilling a bigger hole, just makes it easier for the roots to get past it and get into more soil. these things aren't biting me yet usually it comes not attacking me but very curious little creatures these turkey at least these toms don't attack me that would be well I guess I would have more turkey in the freezer if they started attacking me and they might know that and that's really it he mentioned I should get um, bigger PVC poles here. So I'm going to get some taller ones just to help support the tree a little better. I do have some uh, of the worm compost, the uh, castings, the worm poo that I'm going to put around these trees. When I'm done, I'm just going to kind of put it through there quickly. Just try to help them out to get a good start, you know. That's going to be really it. I got to hurry up and get all these done because I need to hit the road in two and a half hours. I'm hoping to get them all on the ground. If not, whew, well, I have to get them all on the ground. So anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you on the next one. Hope to see you there. Bye.